stop. Don't apply for marriage green card case if you have a pending asylum case without watching this first. Hi, I'm attorney Jay Francis. I'm a U.S. immigration lawyer based in Chicago, but serving all 50 states. Let's say you entered the U.S. with a visa long time ago and apply for asylum within one year filing period. It's called affirmative asylum. Your case will belong to USCIS. Unfortunately, these affirmative asylum cases take long uh, for interview to be scheduled. USCIS still processing asylum applications filed in 2016. So you end up waiting quite some time. You got work permit, social security, and then living your life. Along the way, potentially, you got married to US citizen. You're thinking about applying for marriage green card case while your affirmative asylum case is pending. Today, I'm going to talk about three important considerations when you have these two potential cases pending at the same time. Marriage green card case and affirmative asylum case. Number one consideration, your question would be, how long does it take? So I'm going to talk about timeline by using a real case. So foreign spouse enter with tourist visa, right? Apply for asylum, affirmative asylum case with USCIS. Pending quite some time, she had work permit and social driver license, living life, got married to US citizen. In March of 2024, they apply for marriage green card case. They live in Wisconsin. And about two months later, USCIS scheduled biometrics, a little bit delayed. And two months later, USCIS gave our client another work permit, five years instead of two years, right? So cheaper than um, applying for a um, work permit through asylum. In August 2024, USCIS scheduled for interview because they live in Wisconsin. It was scheduled with Milwaukee field office. On September 16, 2024, they attended interview together. They were interviewed together. And then better yet, their case was approved right away. So is this typical, this case from the beginning to the end? took 129 days, about six months, just a little bit over six months, which is really fast. So the question is, so is this typical? The answer is not really. Now, for those of you who have a pending affirmative asylum case and then added marriage green card case, will know that even after interview, there is a quite a bit of waiting period. USCIS probably will not approve your case right away. So long pending after your interview. Sometime USCIS before interview or after interview will send you what they call relationship request for evidence, saying that we're not really convinced. You need to submit additional relationship document. So do not assume that your marriage green card case uh, will go easily if you have pending affirmative asylum case. So how do you avoid long pending cases and they get approval right away like our case? Submit strong relationship document. Once again, submit strong relationship document. Also, it depends on nature of your asylum case as well. So I'm going to make another video about this matter later. Number two, will USCIS schedule interview for you? Since July 2022, USCIS has a new policy of not scheduling interview for all cases. So in most cases, there is no interview. 
but based upon our experience, most cases, most cases, almost all cases, marriage green card cases with a pending affirmative asylum cases being scheduled for interview. There's few cases that approve without interview as well. So it's a case by case. So there is a higher chance that your case could be scheduled for interview. And then uh, depends on where you live, like where there's a lot of applicants like California, New York, Texas, Miami, when interview is scheduled, as you know, that instead of National Benefit Center reviewing or approving your case, your case must be transferred to a uh, local field office where you live. So it means that it'll take longer for you. But in Wisconsin, uh, our client didn't have to wait long. Like I said, from the beginning to the end, only six months. So it's relatively fast. So lengthier case processing time, interview, and in some cases, depends on nature of your asylum case and you know relationship conditions and supporting documents, you may be interviewed separately. So there's a higher chance that your case, you know, could be scheduled for interview and then you end up being interviewed separately. Our case, the one that I talked today, interviewed together. Very nice. Number three, about your pending asylum case. Do not withdraw your pending asylum case after you submit your marriage green card case. I'm going to repeat one more time. Do not withdraw your pending asylum case after submitting your marriage green card case. You may think that, well, you know, my asylum case is okay. I got work permit. I'm working legally. I have a social. I have a bank account, all this. And then, well, I have a better case. You know, uh, we have a good relationship. So I don't need asylum case. And then you contact USCIS or ask your attorney who help you prepare and submit your asylum application to withdraw it while your uh, marriage green card case is pending. Not a good idea because when you withdraw your pending asylum case, USCIS, which will review your pending asylum case and then pending marriage green card case, may think that your asylum case was not strong. Even may think that it was fraudulent. It's a fake asylum case so that you can stay and then get work permit. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Don't do it, don't do it. So uh, what do you do when you have this pending asylum case and marriage green card case? In most cases, when the USCIS approve your case, the USCIS will contact you to see whether you'd like to continue your asylum case. Let USCIS contact you and let them withdraw your application. Not you, not you. I'll come back to these topics. Um, defensive asylum cases, affirmative asylum cases with this pending marriage green card case. Again, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Attorney Jay Francis. I do YouTube live on every Thursday, 5 p.m. Central Time, and I do TikTok live on every Tuesday, 5 p.m. Central Time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.